This is Joy Paris with richgirlnetwork.tv and we're at the Egyptian Theatre in Hollywood for the Quebec in Hollywood Film Festival. It's going to be a great night, so stay tuned so you can get all the celebrity interviews and you're watching richgirlnetwork.tv. This is Chin Tomasangsi coming to you from inside of Grauman's Egyptian Theatre in Hollywood, California. As Joy told you, we're here at the Quebec in Hollywood Film Festival. The festival couldn't have chosen a better site to hold its event. Grauman's Egyptian Theatre opened on October 19, 1922, and was the first theatre of its kind to sport an Egyptian revival design. In 1996, the city of Los Angeles sold the theatre to American Cinematheque for a nominal $1 fee, with the proviso that the landmark building be restored to its original grandeur and reopened as a movie theatre. The Cinematheque committed to raising the funds to pay for the restoration and to using the renovated theater as home for its programs of public film exhibition. This theater is Los Angeles' historic monument number 584. In the meantime, let's throw it back to my colleague Joy Paris who is out there on the red carpet. I'm not going to try to say Lisa's wonderful last name. <laughs> Tell me how you say it. Langlois in English and Langlois in French. Oh, okay. I'm not going to try either one of them. So tell everybody who you are and why you're here tonight. I, I'm here because I'm a French-Canadian actress. Of course. And um, I get invited to walk the carpet and I've got two projects coming out. One uh, called Summer Eleven and the other one called Poe, Last Days of the Raven. Ooh, I yeah. like that. Yeah. And when, where are the, what's, is something playing now currently that we can see? Uh, the only thing that you can see right now are reruns. I was, in, I was a recurring in L Word. Okay. Yes, but the other two are yet to come out. All right, so how do you like doing work in Hollywood as opposed to Canada? Well, I love the big budgets, yes. <laughs> and I love the Screen Actors Guild. <laughs> All right, then. Well, thank yes. you for talking thank with you us. Very much. And we'll see you inside, right? You're pretty beautiful yourself. Thank you. And I like this outfit. Thank you. Did we get her, like, all sexy outfit? I love it. Thank you. <laughs> you look wonderful. Thank you. Lisa. Lenoir. Lisa Lengua. Did I say it right? Perfect. Lisa Lengua. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Inside of the theater, the evening's events are starting to get underway. On stage are members of American Cinematheque, the Quebec Film Group, and several prominent directors and filmmakers who are doing introductions and shout outs. It isn't long until the creative forces behind several of this weekend's featured films are brought on stage for special recognition. Coming up on stage first is producer Denise Robert. Robert is a prolific Canadian producer who was behind the film The Barbarian Invasions. This film won 2004's Oscar for Best Foreign Film. Next up is Daniel Roby, whose film Funky Town will be shown during the festival. Finally, Sebastian Pilot makes his way to the front of the theater. Pilot is the writer-director of the film The Salesman. With that said, Let's throw it back outside to Joy. So wait, um, so you were an author for an adult, mm -hmm. young, young adult, adults, yeah. young adult fiction. Mm -hmm. How fantastic is that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love writers. So um, tell everybody who you are and um, you know what you write, of course. Um, my name is Cecil Castellucci. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, yes. and um, I write young adult novels and I write comic books, um, graphic novels. My new novel comes out in November. It's called First Day on Earth, and it's on Scholastic. So, yeah. So, uh, that age group would be what? 12 and up. 12 and yeah. up. Can you tell us a little bit about your book? Not the whole thing, but like the best part of it, so it'll excite, you know, young people to go get it. Um, well, First Day on Earth is about a boy who thinks that he's been abducted by aliens, so he Ooh. starts going to an alien abduction support group, and then he thinks that one of the guys there may or may not be an alien or a crazy homeless person, and so it's sort of what happens. I would read that. You know? I mean, it yeah. sounds really interesting. So. It's combination comedy, drama, scary. What style? It's more. It's more sort of drama and um, and sort of uh, uh, sort of about trying to figure out how 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 we are human. You know, okay. like how we all feel alien on our own planet. And also, I think with teenagers, it's um, you know you're growing you're growing up and you're sort of figuring out who you are and you kind of feel like an alien already. You know, so yeah. So it's that. So tell everybody how we can find your book. Um, well, you can get it anywhere, Barnes & Noble or Amazon or um, whatever, and it's, uh, it's called First Day on Earth. Well, thank you for talking to us, and have a good time tonight. 
Thank you. Vive le Quebec! Oh, I love that. <laughs> yes, vive le Quebec! Quebec! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Quebec is taking over Los Angeles this September with Quebec in Hollywood. It's a three-week celebration of Quebec creativity and excellence. Slated events include a Quebec film festival at the Egyptian Theater, performances by top bands and comedy acts on renowned stages, a Montreal fashion runway show at Hollywood and Highland Center, restaurant tastings crafted by top Quebec chefs, a green transportation design symposium, gallery expositions, and more. All performances and events will take place in and around the Hollywood area. We'll bring you more through the evening from inside of the Egyptian theater. In the meantime, let's throw it back to my colleague, Joy Paris, who is out there on the red carpet. I love that dress. Thank you. Oh, look at that. I like this dress. <laughs> can I take her dress and, you know, we can go in the bathroom and change. I think this is so way cool. So, Miss Beautiful, you're Mia Hope. Yes, I am Mia And tell us um, what show you're in and, and a little bit about what you're doing. I am doing acting and modeling. Last movie which I was in was Emmanuel, American Nudist, and uh, Le Critic. Yes. <laughs> so what can we see you in for the future? I mean, are you still on the show? Yes, of course. I am still shooting. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And where are you from? I am originally from Poland. <laughs> Poland, they have the most, look at this beautiful thing. They have the most beautiful woman in Poland. Oh my God. Yeah. So tell everybody, how, uh, how can your fans find you? Do you have a fan page or yes. a website? Mm -hmm. I have the uh, website. It's on IMDb. You can look Mia Hope. M-I-A-H-O-P-E. You saw her that Mia Hope, Miss Beautiful Mia Hope, and she's on HBO yeah. Emmanuel, and I'm taking her home so I can take this dress. Thank you, oh, you look thank beautiful. You, you too. Look how pretty she thank looks. You. Just before tonight's feature film, Starbuck, is screened, part of the creative team of Ken Scott and Andre Rouleau come to the front of the theater to address the audience. Ken Scott is the co writer along with Martin Petit, who is not in attendance tonight. Scott is also the film's director. Andre Rouleau is the film's producer. Let's listen in for some of the comments made by the filmmakers tonight. And like, so it's great to be here. It's really <laughs> great, great to be here. I took the plane to come here and it felt like prison break. <laughs> so I'm very excited to be here with uh, Starbuck the movie. And uh, for me, it's the first time I present a movie here in Los Angeles. I got in last night. It was great, great. I took a taxi from the airport to to my Roosevelt Hotel, and uh, I must say, uh, we were the fastest car in all of Los Angeles last night. A little bit earlier, Joy Paris spent some time with Ken Scott and Andre Rouleau on the red carpet. Let's hear what they have to say about the Quebec in Hollywood Film Festival and tonight's featured film. Starbuck. Oh, I love all this wonderful, nice suit you guys are wearing. You guys look great. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Huh, oh, by the way. oh, I like that. So let's talk to the, I guess, the man who started the project, the writing. It starts with the writing, right? Yeah. So tell us about that. What inspired you to write the story? Well, I co-wrote the movie with my good friend uh, Martin Petit, who came up with the idea to have this uh, very talented uh, sperm donor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, we we found that it was a great. Uh, a great project to actually talk about fatherhood and uh, I'm father of three kids, he's a father of uh, two kids so we found that we had a whole lot to say. Wonderful and you got inspired because how? How does it all evolve for you? I knew Ken before. I had the, the chance and the opportunity to do his, uh, to produce his first film so uh, we, we, it's a great pleasure to have done this one. So this is your first time uh, directing and writing? Uh, it's the second time. I, it's my sixth uh, screenplay, okay. and it's the uh, second time I direct. Oh, and your first time producing or no? <laughs> <laughs> you produced a lot. <laughs> Come on. No, I he's wish. A young, he's a young guy. He's a young guy. No, I look because the the, the look shooting at his face. the, yeah, yeah. the so shooting was very difficult, but uh, I'm very young. <laughs> So tell everybody again, just so we have it, um, your names again, and of course you're Canadian, and give us that. My name is Ken Scott. André Rouleau. Oh, say that again. Mm. André Rouleau. Oh, I love that. You hear that role, André? I'm not going to try to do that, but thank you, gentlemen. I can't thank wait to see much. the film. Thank you. André Rouleau. 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 <laughs> I can't say it. 
Welcome back inside of Grauman's Egyptian Theater in Hollywood, the home of American Cinematheque and the Quebec in Hollywood Film Festival. The screening of tonight's feature film, Starbuck, has just concluded, and the filmmakers, Ken Scott and André Rouleau, have returned to the stage. Scott and Rouleau, along with tonight's MC, will now entertain questions from the audience who have just seen their film. For the filmmakers, and this comes from personal experience, the Q&A session can be the most satisfying portion of the film festival experience. You're interacting with the audience who's just seen your film, and everything about that film is fresh in their minds. Most of the time, you get a great deal of praise for the work you've done, but there are instances where the audience will harshly critique your work. In some cases, it's unwarranted, but in others, it makes you a better filmmaker. All right, let's head back out to the red carpet and Joy Paris. Hello, you look beautiful. No, look you. how wonderful you look. I love that outfit. Who styled you? Oh, wait, come over here and tell us who that is. It's a designer from Montreal. Come closer. Um, what? Oh, I like that. Okay. It's actually a coat and a dress. So tell us the designer's name. Marisa Minicucci. Marisa from Minicucci. MCMO. MCMO. See, I love this French accent. So, tell us, oh, it's Italian, whatever, Italian, French, all sounds the same to me. What do I know? But, um, so tell us who you are, Miss Beautiful, and all that good stuff. Thank you. I'm Claudia Ferry. I'm actually tonight coming as a guest. Okay. But I have a film uh, showing tomorrow at the Short Film Festival. Uh, Jean-Pierre Bergeron's film, Alone with Mr. Carter, with the wonderful Robert Naylor, and Paul Saunders, and myself. Uh, yeah, a beautiful film. I'll be seeing it for the first time tomorrow. <laughs> but you do know how to sing, right? Sing? Yeah. Uh, some in my bath. Sing one little thing for us. No. Two. No, sing. no. Let me fast a lot. No. She's so pretty. Look how beautiful no. she is. I will sing. I'll just sing no. no. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You look amazing. And I cannot wait to see your short, right? So right. tell everybody again where, they're play where it's playing so we know. Uh, it's playing at the Egyptian okay. Saturday tomorrow, 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. along with Mr. Carter. Thank by Jean-Pierre Bergeron. Thank, Thank you so much. Beautiful.